I'm Melissa, reporting live for Pixels and Pills at the CBI Conference on Tools and Social Media. And I'm here with Zoe Dunn, who presented today. So, hi Zoe. Hi, how are Thank you? Thank you so much for talking to us. Sure. Um, first, if you could just tell us a little about who you are, what you do, and why you're here. Sure. Um, I'm a digital marketing consultant. I started in the industry uh, in direct response advertising a long, long time ago, about 15 years ago now, and, um, and evolved into digital marketing. It was right around when DTC was coming out, and so we were starting to build more and more consumer communications, uh, but also trying to figure out how to leverage the digital platform for physicians. And uh, now I'm a consultant after many years of working with the pharmaceutical industry. So I really specialize in helping the pharmaceutical industry leverage digital tools for communication. And nowadays that also includes social media. So it, trying to find better ways to, to leverage the platform, find ways internally to structure uh, how, how the companies themselves can support the use of social media um, as, a, as a channel, as a tool. and. Um, uh, and then how they can leverage it for uh, going forward, especially in light of you know looking for FDA guidance, et cetera. So you talked today in your presentation about how social media was a channel and not so much a strategy for companies. Right. So could you just talk a little bit more about that? Sure. Um, so I, I think it's a common misperception that social media being the new shiny uh, item on the block is something that everybody needs for uh, in order to help their business grow, to take their business to the next step. And uh, there is a discrepancy between whether social media should really be a marketing vehicle or a communications vehicle. And so so that's why it, it's really a strategy. It's a. I mean, it's not a strategy. It's really a channel and not a strategy. Um, it's really a delivery mechanism for your message. Uh, and generally that falls into the communications area because it's a two-way dialogue with the general public about your company, about a certain therapeutic category, about a product, um, but not necessarily marketing because it's not really driving towards an action, which is what marketing would be doing, driving towards that sale, um, driving towards acquiring that product. Uh, some other industries are definitely using it in that way. Um, like uh, Adele or uh, um, JetBlue, where they're driving through social media to an action, but um, but by and large, the pharmaceutical industry is mainly leveraging it to help uh, gain an understanding of who are the consumers who are in their interested marketplace in a particular therapeutic category. They're using it in non-branded ways. And they're using it to create a dialogue with physicians um, or to, to increase information that's out there. So um, it's not a strategy for how we're going to market our brand. It's really just a channel for delivery of those communications. And you also talked a lot about listening. Mm -hmm. If you could just, the importance of listening for corporations, if you could touch on that. Yeah, so uh, it's funny. It's actually, listening is something that early on in my career uh, became very important. I think when all, when, when people get into business as an environment, they learn that it's equally as important to listen as it is to communicate. And the reason it is, is that uh, it's hard to have a good basis of knowledge of information or know how to act unless you've listened first. So that's a basic premise in life, right, is that we should listen before we act. And the same holds true online for social media. Uh, if we want to understand how best to communicate to our target audience, first we need to know what they're interested in, what they're looking for, and what kind of information they are discussing before we can decide how we're going to get into that conversation and what part we want to play in it. So before developing a, a social media project or choosing to move forward on a social social media platform, it's important that we have listened to that platform and the people who are engaging in that dialogue and then come up with a plan to move forward. And then listen once that, that project is in place as well. To evaluate it. Correct. And okay. optimize. Yeah, of course. Well, thank you so much for speaking with sure, us. Um, I'm Alyssa signing off for Pixels and Pills.